What's up guys? Welcome back to Pound for Pound House. So back to Leon again. What's next for him? Where do we go from here? It's rough, man. Because we have Shavkat. We have Bilal. We have Islam. And we also have him potentially moving up, right? So while all the options are really good, one option in particular makes no sense. Which I would say has to be him moving up. Because honestly, <clears throat> he hasn't defended the title enough. So there's no reason for him to even go up or move up at this point. Because there's nothing... <clears throat> He shouldn't have that opportunity yet. I mean, he's just... Because then everybody could do it, right? Because just like defend the title once, boom, go up. Like, it doesn't... I don't know. That, that, that to me doesn't make sense right now for him. So, his other options are obviously Shafkat, um, Bilal, and Islam. So, I almost doubt Islam moving up. It's the same story again with Islam. Like, so he's defended against Volk. He's defended against Volk twice, I'm sorry. And that was kind of really what it was. So he still has a lot of work in the lightweight division. Now, on the other hand, if UFC decides that they want to make a super fight <clears throat> and they want Islam to move up, then, I mean, that's up to them. Or do they, if they want um, Leon to move up, that's up to them, right? That's whatever it is what it is at that point. Maybe if they probably would do that for something for like 300 UFC 300. I don't know. So the only two people left at that point would be <clears throat> Shafkat and Bilal. The thing about Shafkat now is that Shafkat <clears throat> hasn't beat anybody on the top five. That's one. Two, he also has a messed up ankle. So I don't really think that's something that he, you know, can obviously fix right away. So it's not something that can happen right away. If the fight leads into the summer some point, at some point, then that's a different story. But if it's anytime sooner, then uh, I don't think it makes sense for him to even come back at that point right now because of the injury. And that fight completely is out at that point, right? Now, the only person left at that point is Bilal. Now, Bilal, even if Shafkat was still in, in my opinion, Bilal still stakes the claim. Like... It's crazy that people think he doesn't. He's boring. He's whatever, whatever you want to say. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you think he sucks, you think he's boring, you think whatever you think about the guy. The fact is the guy beat Gilbert Burns. Granted, one arm, Gilbert Burns. He TKO'd Sean Brady. Beat Vicente, beat Steven Thompson, beat Demon Maya. The dude has been on a 10 fight winning streak. Come on. Like, nobody else has a bigger claim. Okay? And for Leon to say that he doesn't deserve the fight or he still needs to, you know, fight others is a little distasteful because. Honestly, Leon was in the same position like a year and a half ago or two years ago. So it's kind of messed up that Leon's even saying anything like that. But hey, <clears throat> I still think no matter what, Bilal deserves it. And I'm not no Bilal fan. Like I'm not like a Bilal fanboy or anything. I'm just saying the guy deserves the fight. Like, give him his chance. Give him his opportunity. Let him fight. Granted, I mean, the fight might not sell. That's another story. I think Zhang Wei Li and Alexa Grasso might sell more pay per views. I mean, but still, he deserves a fight. He could be even a co main under like a, a light heavy or a heavyweight fight. But <clears throat> he deserves it. He deserves a title. He deserves, he deserves, he deserves a title chance. So, you gotta give the guy his fight. I mean, he's been calling for it. <clears throat> he weighed in as a backup. He beat Gilbert and was told that if he, this is a, basically a title contender fight. So, I don't know what else he has to do at this point. Um, just give the man his fight. 
that's all he wants. And as far as him, you know, as the first fight goes, yeah, I mean, he was getting pieced up a little bit by Leon. But then again, Leon is not like the biggest finisher in the world either. So, I don't know. <clears throat> We're all like, oh, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, Leon will destroy Bilal, blah, 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 blah. But the reality is, Le who does Leon finish? In fact, he almost got finished by Nate Diaz. So, <clears throat> for anybody to say, like, he's going to destroy Bilal, come on, stop it. Bilal's probably going to hug him, sure, most of the fight. But that's a different story. But to say that, you know, Leon's going to beat Bilal, like, terribly, no, stop. It's not gonna happen. It's just, it's just not. It's just not the way Leon fights. Um, that's what it is. Um, honestly, there's nobody else that lays more claim to that. I think Shafkat should just go on and fight Kamara Usman, or I mean, I wish he could fight Gilbert Burns because I think that would be an amazing fight. Gilbert Burns and Shafkat would be an amazing fight. It probably be the the best lightweight fight you could put on right now. Easily. My opinion. I think it would be. Because those two are both amazing fighters. Both explosive. Both got grappling. Both got striking. I mean. <clears throat> come on. Unfortunately they're training partners. That's never going to happen. But hey. I think if Ian Gary. Gets through. Um, Jeff Neal. Coming up. Maybe he should fight Jeff Cott after and then then let let that be the number one contender fight that'd be a great that'd be a great number one contender fight ian gary and shavka go at it and then we see what happens from there but going back to Bilal, Bilal needs his chance man give the man his fight granted we might not remember the fight but give the guy his fight he deserves it um you know if he wins in everybody's face but and if he doesn't then let him drift off and let him you know do his thing that's it and just to add to it they they have some twitter beef going on so why the hell not might as well let him build this shit up completely and then go from there i mean they have some they have some twitter beef you know leon saying he's not you know, intimidating, and you're obviously Bloss talking his shit, so, dude, just let him go at it, I think, and then, you know, I think Leon is, I think Leon is open to it, even though he said, you know, whatever he said, I think he's still open to whoever comes his way, I'm sure he would like other fighters, I'm sure he would like to move up to middleweight, but shit. You don't cross the boss. You don't cross the boss, remember? So, uh, we'll see what happens. And, you know, Dana White not be, not talking about, not giving, like, that, you know, interest in Bilal. I understand it. I understand why he didn't, like, just say it right there and then at the end of 296. I get it. I get it. Because he was... Not so crazy about Bilal. I could see he's not so crazy about Bilal. And I, I know he, he's not going to do the same thing like he did with Kobe. Because he had this like hype behind Kobe. He believed in it. He knew that Kobe would draw some numbers. So that's why he pushed that Kobe thing. Um, but Bilal obviously is not going to do the same. So I understand why Dana did what he did. Uh, but at the same time, give the man his fight. Anyways. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video. Also, if you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can see all the new videos I upload.